Okay, after the filter that we have already made, the strings, uh, I want to display on my screen the alphabet. Not because this is the main part of the topic of today. We already know the alphabet. Now, actually, what I want to explain today is the following. Attention, please. Mm. This is going to be kind of a game in which additives will be considered. Mm. I will uh, tell someone to tell me at the same time an additive beginning with certain letter of the alphabet. Okay, for example, we can. Um, can say okay tell me for example you yeah, see a, an additive with a little uh, B right and probably you yeah, see might say ah, okay teacher, beautiful right beautiful begins with the letter B okay you understand the activity very good excellent give me a thumbs up in case you understand plenty the activity Okay, now let's go with Alexis Gutierrez. Alexis Gutierrez, can you tell me um, uh, a word, an additive with letter M, please? Okay, let's wait for Alexis. Sorry, my end is like a little bit weird, no? Let's do it differently. And well, it was much better. Except Alexis, well, Alexis is typing us through the chat because he cannot speak on the microphone. Negative, right? Negative is also an additive. Since if you are not uh, aware of, you cannot make use of your microphone. Don't worry, you can make use of the chat, which is already open. Okay, now we are going to tell Alexis. Alexis, can you please choose a person selecting the same one and tell her him which letter to consider? Okay, Alexis is choosing to uh, Suri. What, what letter, Alexis? Okay, the letter L. Very good. An additive, sorry, ah, okay, sorry, I already answered. It was an additive with the letter L, right? Exactly, long. Sorry, can you please select someone to tell us that? Okay, Italy. Italy, an additive with the letter, so it says, with the letter, sorry. Okay, sorry, you said what? Oh, can you please type it on the on the chat because we cannot understand easily. Okay, we are waiting for um, this lady. Okay, ah, with the letter T. Okay, with the letter T. Mm -hmm, that is easy, right? Exactly, Italy. Very fast, Dali answer. It is dog, right? Okay, perfect. And I will add the final additive, guys, because it has taken us some time and we have to finish as soon as possible. Okay, uh, I will add shirt and I will add, uh, for example, happy, right? They are also additives, and what I want you to pay attention is on a, if it is a long additive or if it is a short additive. How can we identify that? It's very easy. To, we can identify it by clapping. If we clap the words as we used to do it with a long time ago to identify syllables, we can know if it is a short or a long additive. If it if it has only one syllable it is a short additive if it has two or more it is a long additive 
for example, beautiful. Let's clap. Listen to beautiful. So it contains three syllables, right? So it is considered to be a long adjective. Let's clap negative. Negative. So it has also a I'm sorry, it is also a long additive as it has three different syllables. And finally, long. So let's clap it. Long. Okay? You listen to only one clap, correct? That, that's why it is a short additive. Mm -hmm. Because it has only one, one syllable. Then tall, short, uh, short additives. Right, because it, they contain only one syllable. And finally, happy. happy. It contains um, two syllables. It might be considered a long additive, but it is also short. And I will explain uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, well, in a further time during the class, within the class, I will explain why we need to take into consideration if it is a long or a short additive okay for now it is okay and we are going to go through the following uh, slides right so uh, can you please type in the in the chat if it is uh what, well what is the difference between these two animals we have a turtle and we have a rabbit in here okay wait for yeah, exactly. The turtle is slow, while the rabbit is fast, right? Also, yeah, we can take into consideration the size, the color of them, because one is gold, the other one is kind of green or gray, right? The shape, of course, is totally different. But I want you to paste uh, your descriptions on the additive series, okay? Let's go on the next one. What difference do you find out between these two basketball players. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, that one is short and the other one is tall. Probably both play basketball. Both play basketball. But one is short and the other one is long. Okay, let's go on the next one. We have two uh, things that we can use to work. Mm -hmm. One is a laptop, the other one is a mechanical uh, typer, right? But what is the difference between them? Ah, exactly, very good, Carlos. Carlos says that it is old, well, the, the one on the left is old, while the other one, which is the laptop, is new. Ah, one is antique and the other one is more modern, because uh, that is what we use nowadays, okay? Let's go on the next one. We have sunglasses, right? Uh, and we have a, a very uh, visible difference, right? Not only the brand, we, we know that uh, branded uh, tins or branded objects are much better, probably more costable, more expensive, but much better because they are better made or better manufactured, right? Yeah, exactly. The ones on the right are dark and the ones on the left are clear, right? And you can see that on their glasses. Okay, very observant then. Eh? Can we please can you please analyze the following two objects? We have some bricks on the left and we have uh, we have a shaker uh -huh, to clean or to shake the furniture on the right. Mm -hmm. The most visible uh, characteristic is that the bricks are hard or heavy and the one on the left which is a shaker is very soft as well as their use, no? Uh, somebody wrote in the, in the chat their use of course I would not use a brick to shake furniture, right? Because I might break the furniture Uh huh, yeah the use is also a difference Yeah, exactly Let's go back uh, to the to the whiteboard students because uh, we were studying on additives right we were studying more specifically on short 
and long adjectives and we use adjectives to describe things, objects, animals, people, situations, etc. Okay? But what I want you to focus on today is on three endings. One is the ending, look at this. One is the ending, let me do it in a different color. One is the ending ER, oh my god. ER, the other ending is more. And the other ending is IER, teacher. And I wonder how to use them. Well, I'm here to explain that. Mm -hmm. Because the way we can use it is like this. We need to take into consideration if what we are going to use is a short or a long adjective. For example, do you remember the adjective beautiful? Uh, please, uh, who? Uh, Boca Negra, can you tell us if it is a, a long or a short adjective beautiful? Remember the claps that we made? Remember the syllables we made? Mm -hmm. Exactly, it's a long additive. When we have long additives, what we are going to use is more. So in this case, it is more beautiful. More beautiful. Okay? Okay, what about... Do you remember the additive long? If you do, please tell me. Okay, please, uh, Joshua Bichamil, can you tell us if it is a long or a short additive? Remember, long. Now listen to the clap. It is only one syllable. Exactly, it is a short additive. Check what happens when we have a short additive, students. The corresponding the corresponding ending for a short additive is longer, sorry, air, and it becomes longer. And finally, I will help you with the, the, the last one. don't know if you remember that I added the word happy, right? What happens when we have uh, uh, an additive ending with the letter Y? Well, what with what will simply happen is that the Y will disappear. We are going to make it disappear that way. And we are going to add the ending IER. Now we are taking into account that one. So we have more beautiful, longer and happier. Guys, what I can tell you now is that they are not additives anymore. They are not. But they are is come let me see what's going on they are okay and what do we use comparatives for well, as the word says to compare to make a comparison right to make a comparison uh -huh. And we have three kinds of comparatives, ones ending with ER, ones that are accompanied by more, and ones that are finishing with IER. And it depends on the structure from the adjective. Okay, okay. Well, we can now practice through the following activity that I am sharing sharing my screen to you so I, I hope you can see it yeah for example Jake's room who can help me okay yeah, let's see yeah exactly right we have smaller small is a short additive the corresponding ending is ER yeah. the blue car is Exactly, it is nicer. One more time, we have a short additive. This exercise is Alexis. Is it more? No? 
No, we are not studying very. You cannot say very party. We're studying on more ER or IER. I know. Well, who can help us? Exactly. Sorry for moving the page. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, Liliana, it is more boring as it is a long, a long additive. Number four, I guess because of the time we are going to answer only eight of them, and the rest you can do them as suggested activities. His pullover is uh -huh. darker. There are people who are working in advance through the chat. I'm looking at that. Number five, Susan's hair is longer, very good. George is, please, who, 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 somebody. Ah, okay. As you can see, guys, we are having a, a Y in the end of this additive sense. You see? That's why we need to use what we studied. We eliminate the Y, we interchange it by I, and we add the R. Now it says, George is funnier than Robert. Hmm? Seven, my result in the test was, probably some, some people might say, if this is a short additive, uh -huh. so if actually if you clap it and if you listen to, good. It is only one syllable, right? But there is an exception with good and bad, which are also additives. The comparative for, I sorry, I'm typing above. The comparative for good, guys, it is not gooder, but it is not more good. It is better. Try to learn that uh, in many readings, in many activities we have seen that word. Well, that is the comparative from good. Number eight, gold is what well, somebody has already answered in the chat. One more, time. more expensive, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to leave pending. If you want to screenshot the nine and the ten, so that you might practice. We have in parentheses or in brackets smart, and we got popular, right? So if you want to practice on. Uh, you can do it as a suggested activity. Well, this is also that the book explains to us, the learning, the learning log explains to us. In a moment, I will open my, my slides, okay? So check it out. We have the explanation to the page number 103. Uh-huh. Then that is the language key. It says comparative additives are used to contrast attributes of two people, places, or things. And when we have a short additive, we usually add the ending er. As I explained, as we practice, my hometown, that is example, is a smaller place than where I live now. Okay, we have smaller. For additives that finish with Y, specifically, we take away the Y, we say goodbye to the letter Y, and we add the IER. Example, I'm happier than before. Then for long additives, we add the word more. And also, guys, we need to take into account that in every single example, we have the word than. Oh, let's read the last example. Snakes are more dangerous than earthworms yeah but in every single example as you can see we have the word than we have the word than and we have the word than than is a very useful and needed and requested word when making a comparison okay the suggested activities guys the suggested activities only suggested right our activity number five through the same page which is 103 six and seven they are very good practice students they are very good practice for you to work on what we studied today okay 
so guys thank you so much for taking today's class i will see you the next one if you have questions please you can type me through the platform okay well this is all for today guys thank you so much for connecting remember we are not uh, having uh, mandatory activities yeah it is not it is optional to send your activities in case you want me to revise them and to tell you if you are correct or not uh, that is one way to, to improve to grow also as a student thank you so much I appreciate that everybody is here or almost everybody is in here so that we can uh, continue being connected students I appreciate your time if you have questions please type me on the platform and I can tell you now goodbye okay uh, I will activate the microphone so that you can tell us goodbye also your own voice thank you today is June the 17th and we are going to uh, be in touch through the platform practice in your house students practice a lot uh, so that you can improve and in second grade you are the, the most excellent group as you have been till now students okay today uh, we used comparatives in our class goodbye everybody